All right, because all of my other uh, bubble map videos are about 15 minutes long, we are now going to do this in a minute and a half. So a bubble map is a map where you have circles that represent things like cities that are sized according to something like population. So this is a big city, gets a big bubble. This is a small city, has a small bubble. All right, here's what you need. First off, you need an SVG map, which is the shape of California right here. Number two, you need an underlying map, so you know where your city locations are. Uh, you just hide that on a different layer. I know San Francisco's here, LA is there, etc. And then finally, you need your cities and your population. So let's get started. We're going to make a new layer on top of all of these layers, and we're going to call it City Bubbles. Now we're going to make a pie chart, which seems absurd, but when you paste in these values, instead of making a single pie chart, you come up with a circle for every single uh, city on here, and it's sized correctly. We're going to make these fonts a little bit smaller so we can see what the cities are. We're going to turn on the image and we're going to move all of the cities to where they belong. So LA is there, San Diego is there, San Francisco over here, Fresno. I've got to make sure you don't grab those white anchors. You have to actually grab the black part. And for Eureka, it's so small, we have to click and drag and then drag it on over. Beautiful. So now we need to resize these, but first we'll need to object, ungroup, so they stop being a graph, and we're just going to keep ungrouping until we can't ungroup any more. Great. So now we're going to delete these city names. We're going to delete this legend up here. We're going to select each and every one of these circles all at the same time. And we're going to go to object, transform, transform each, and we're going to scale them each by, well, let's say 320%. And there we go, we have beautiful bubbles, and if we want to make them a little transparent, uh, we can select the entire layer, go down to 40%, and there we go, we are done.